<laughs> what was it like after today? Oh, it was great. You know, just first time being back, going with it with the ones and being out there with the defense, really. So it was, it was a good, good experience. Do you feel 100%? Yeah, I feel great. Um, thanks to Jason McVay, um, Coach Lawson, Coach Search, and all those guys, and Coach Jones and my teammates being supportive of me. How long do you think you've been 100%? Ah, oh, that's hard to say. Um, I've had, I have, I've had like um, terrific games um, this offseason, um, lifting-wise, um, upper body, lower body. So I'm feeling great. I'm feeling better and better. So. You feel good about your retention? On the defense? The oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I, I still have a good mental and physical feel for the game. Kurt, when did you kind of realize last year that you weren't going to be able to come back during the season? Um, I was really trying to fill it out in the first three, three to four games and um, just didn't feel like myself, you know what I'm saying? So I think it was probably on the fourth, fifth game I sat down and talked with Coach Jones. It was, that was the hardest decision I've made. So you feel like it was the right decision now? now? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not in a rush to leave, you know what I'm saying? I'm, not in a rush to graduate or anything, so I just want to get healthy and get my offer to university. Was there some point in the season where maybe you could have played had you not made the decision to redshirt where you finally felt healthy enough or was it you know? Um with me and Coach Jones we talked we made a decision and um after we made a decision I didn't I didn't really have any thoughts of toward that. Um after we made a decision we moved forward. I um helped out with the team, um scout team, sideline energy, whatever whatever role I could help in. Was it just the knee or was there other stuff as well that you were having to deal with in terms of physical I, I I made good games, so I'm I'm stronger all over. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it was much more than money. Kurt, how much a, did being with the scout team last fall and really help you stay mentally engaged and not kind of check out? Great. Um, we we I feel like we have a we had a terrific O line last year, um, size, um, experience wise. So I'm trying to get myself better. I'm trying to get them better. You know, when last year when they gave up sacks, it kind of bugged me because I'm saying that nobody's better than me. I'm if you can't block me, you're gonna you gonna block me in practice, and the game should be easier. That, that was my mindset. How much feel like there was something was out there today with all the new blood? You know, half that team is not you know went through spring practice here before. It was a different feel, definitely. But we we've had a good offseason. We had a great offseason. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I feel like we're gonna be a lot of competition. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of good things coming forward. Were there things that you saw being not being out in practice? Just standing on the side that maybe you hadn't seen before. Did you learn different things not being out there? Yeah, I have a broader vision of the game, uh, not just the interior. I'm learning more about concepts and a lot more things, and not just my position. I'm trying to learn positions around me and learn how the puzzle works. Which was saying he's looking for playmakers, not just on offense but also on defense. Just how well do you think you might be able to kind of fill that role as kind of being a playmaker on defense, guy who can make some big plays and stuff like that. Cool, Jones. Yeah. I've I know I can make some plays. I know AJ can make some plays. We got we got some playmakers on defense. Jordan Williams and um, Corey Vereen. You know what I'm saying? So we just got to get we got to get that experience and get that camaraderie with the new guys coming in, and it's gonna be good. Do you see your role as more of a stand-up linebacker only, or do you think you might rush the passer or some? You know, as a defensive end as well. I, I'm down to do whatever. I I want to get I want to get to that quarterback though. How good can say, this up? How could how could the linebacking group be? How good can it be? We can be great um, with me and AJ. With the experience we've had, uh, coaching changes. Um, now we're in our second year in a stable program, and just the experience, like I said, the knowledge we have of the game, and we can feed it off onto the younger guys and play well. I feel like. You have to talk about. You kind of emerge as a leader of the team. How are you be able to do that without having played that much in the last? I mean, how are you able to kind of assert that leadership role without being on the field for the last year? I, I feel like the guys know that I, I love the game and. It's not. It's not a show. And I really. I truly enjoy being here at the complex, and I truly love Tennessee. So even though I wasn't on the field physically, um, I was on the sideline and away games and, and scout team. All that I gave them all. You know what I'm saying. So I feel like the guys see that, and I, I feel like they respect that. Kurt, how much maybe peace of mind were you able to get from going through the end of last season, knowing that you were going to redshirt? You didn't have to worry about getting your body ready to play necessarily. You could worry about getting. 110% healthy. How, how much does that kind of help you mentally? It helped me out a lot mentally, I feel like. After we made that decision, well, leading up to that decision, it was, it was stressful. It was tough. It was a tough decision to make. But after I made that decision, I feel like it helped me out a lot. Um, I was able to focus on more schoolwork and focus on my rehab and treatment-wise and become a better player on and off the field. Remember so. what game that was? Yeah, or what, what week that was during the season that you went, that you went and talked to Coach Jones about it? Uh, round four. Round, after the fourth game. Yeah, something like that. What were your teammates' reactions when you told them you were a red shirt? They were supportive. 
they knew they knew what was best for me. Did it's, they did, could they sense you weren't mentally and physically ready to go? Yeah, yeah, I feel like that. But they know if if I could have been out there, they knew I would have been out there. So it was a tough decision. They supported me, and I think that's that's what made it a lot a lot not easier, but a lot more manageable. What's the responsibility when your head coach comes with the heart and soul of the team? What, what, what kind of responsibility does that put on you? A lot. Um, I feel like a lot of guys look, look, look up to me, look toward me for a lot of things, uh, especially AJ as well. And uh, we look, we're working on consistent performance and we're working on coming out here every day, relentless, um, working on a lot of things, just getting the younger guys and showing them the Tennessee way, how we, how we play ball. Does that surprise you, given that you didn't play? I mean, you've never played a down for him, that, that he would he would call you the heart and soul, having never seen you in a game? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't really think about that. Me and Coach Jones have a great relationship, so I didn't really think much about that. But So you weren't surprised when he said it? You and him have talked a lot about leadership and kind of taking ownership of the team. Yeah, we have a great relationship, like I said. And I, he's, one of the, he's a guy I can talk to at any point, at any time, and ask him any questions, you know what I'm saying? So we have a good relationship. Welcome back, man. All right, thank you.